I have got a tough decision to make. I don't know how I get myself in these predicaments, but I do. I wish you guys were here to help me make this important, important and hard decision. So anyway, I went shopping online in Paducah, Kentucky. Well, I think we all know what that means. That means I went to the Purple Toad Winery and bought some wine. And so I did this in September. I wanted to get some fall wines for when we went into November. So I got a couple bottles in and now I don't know which one to open. I know it's only the first Friday really in November that I'm opening these wines. So it, it's like if I don't open it this week, I can open it next week, but I don't know what to do. It's a hard, hard decision. I have got June's red apple wine and I've got this special bottle, the skull of the caramel apple wine. I know I love this one. I've never tried the June's apple. June's red apple. I don't know what to do. Making decisions as adults are hard. Oh my gosh, I wish you were here to help me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries. I tell you, that was a really hard decision. You know what, what helped me make the decision? I did not have a sharp enough knife to get the cap out of the one with the skull. So we are going with the June's Red Apple and I quick opened it and took the cork out so I wouldn't change my mind. So I've never had this one before. So it's June's Red Apple, it's 12% alcohol they have a rating scale of dry to sweet of one to six and this one is kind of right in the middle at four it smells like a nice tart juicy red apple looking forward to having that the caramel one would have been good too but i'm happy with my decision i finally made my decision like i said if i had a sharper knife in here probably would have been the caramel apple but anyway I am so glad that you guys are here to join me Friday oh my gosh it's such a fun day you just wake up and you just know the day is going to be special you know I may not go special at work if you've got work issues and you just slammed with things to do but you know you know it's Friday you know whatever happens it's Friday it's going to be over at the end of the day you got two days to recuperate you know you're going to open some wine I know isn't that fabulous? So anyway, I'm wearing this outfit from Timu. So I don't think I, I didn't show these yet. These are still in the bag, but I thought it went better than the fall one. So I got these gorgeous earrings here. They've got this matching necklace from Timu. And I got this that I opened uh, Tuesday night, but I didn't try it on. So it's this, just a little kind of a tunic top. We got like the three quarter sleeves and it's like a little bell sleeve here. We got kind of like all kind of fall flowers and just a little opening right there and the bottom of this. And don't worry, I have black leggings on. I know, I live in my leggings all winter, right? So, and it's got these flowers at the end. We got all these little stars like Superstar. Reminds me, hello, Sue. So anyway, hope you're not watching this late at night because a little bit of a, a warning here. I'm going to be showing some food. So if you're hungry, you might want to turn this off or just kind of fast forward it. You know, no more late night snacking for you guys. I know. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying. A little bit of a warning. There's going to be some food. Alrighty. So just a quick little board here. A charcuterie board. Just kind of kept it simple since it's just me here. So I have got these teriyaki beef sticks. I've got some cheddar cheese curds right here in cubes. And I took two of my turnbuckle pretzels from... I forgot the name of the pretzel company, but I'll put it at the end. And so I heated these up in the toaster oven. I had some pup cheese, some cheddar pup cheese. So I melted some. It's probably got, that was a while ago, so it's probably cold now. And these pretzels that I kind of cut into bit-sized pieces after I heated them up. So anyway, 
that's going to be my little snack tonight so i'm excited about that okay you guys you can come back in the room now i'm done showing the food so september um I decided I wanted to get some fall wine, some apple wines and things like that for uh, to open in November. And so I went to Paducah because, you know, I love my purple toad wine. And so they were having an awesome sale. So I got some wines that I paid full price for, which was $14.15. I got two half price wines for like $8.49. I bought a little purple toad tasting glass. So if you go there in person, these, I believe, are the glasses that they would serve there. So we got the insignia on the back, Purple Toad, Paducah, Kentucky, and then the little logo there, the cute little Purple Toad. So I got one of them. So the wines that I got, I got the June's Red Apple Wine. I've never had this before, so I'm excited to try it. It smells really, really good. Uh, my half price wines. I got this Paducah White, which I've had before. Really, really love it. It's a semi-sweet white wine. I don't think I've had their Chardonnay before. So this is a dry wine rated at one. So I got a Chardonnay to have later. And while I was on this site, you know, I could not resist. So I had to get my peach wine winner from last year, or the summer anyway. So I got two of my paducah peach so i am set to go though you know um mike um in kentucky he made another batch of peach wine and our guys were down there for an event uh the discovery event in kentucky for mazak and so he gave the guys another bottle of peach wine for me and of course it's dated different because i guess it's you know as you get different fruits things might change a little bit so maybe that's why it won the first time and then paducah peach from purple toad one last summer so you know what we're gonna have to have another battle of the peach wine soon i'm i'm game for that and and this cute little skull bottle and this one was twenty dollars because it was a special bottle they had different wines that you could get get in here and this is like really kind of like sealed in tight plastic so if you get this you're gonna have to put up a fight to get it open they've also come out with their christmas wines which are going to be the same wines, but they've got some special bottles. Some are shaped like a uh, Christmas tree, like a, you know, Christmas tree. And some just have some etchings on it. They're really, really pretty. I think they probably have like New Year's bottles that are etched too. So if you would rather have wine than champagne, you can get one of those bottles and have it etched. And they're just really, really pretty. Alrighty, so I've done enough gapping, right? So I'm going to pour a little bit of this June's Red Apple Wine. It's a nice golden color here. So it's a nice color right here. Nice golden yellow. It is still coating my glass nice for 12%. I didn't expect that. I don't think I really have to stir it around too much, but let's just kind of get some oxygen, get some air in there, let the wine breathe a little bit. Get all those flavors to unwind, unleash, come to the surface. Alrighty, happy, happy Friday, everyone. I hope that you guys had a fabulous week at work. You had some great plans for the weekend and you have probably having more for dinner than just uh, some snacks. Though, you know, I might order a pizza later. You know, I wouldn't put it past me, it's early enough. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. If I want a pizza, I'm gonna have to order it fast. But anyway, I'm ready to go. So I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone, and let's have a quick sip, shall we? Well, I could sniff it first. It does. I can feel the fumes in here, so it says 12%, but it is strong. And I just, it's like more like a, a milder red apple, like a red, juicy, delicious apple. Alrighty, cheers, everyone. Mmm. It's got the tartness of the apple, but also the sweetness. It reminds me of a cider, almost a spiked cider. The apple is really, really good. I'm thinking there's maybe some cinnamon in here too. Maybe just a touch, just enough to give it a little bit more heat. You can feel it, especially right here with the heat. It's not dry at all. Um, so you get, don't have any of that sensation of it being dry. 
a lot of it acidity from the apple so your mouth really starts to water a little bit the flavor is just really really good so i mean this would be great you know some people like um cider with their turkey dinner for thanksgiving this would be a really great one or just those kind of like bread donuts you, you get like when you go apple picking and sometimes when you go in and inside they'll have those freshly made like the cake type donuts with some nice cider to go with it and this would go really good with that especially if it's cold outside maybe you went for a hayride or you went through a cornstalk maze or just something fun out there well maybe you had to rake the leaves and things like that but when you come inside you just want to have something that kind of just warms you right up this is going to do it my friends i'm going to have another quick sip and then i'm going to have one of those pretzels cheers mm. that is really really good i would definitely get that again probably not so much in the summer but in the fall it's going to go great with a nice chicken dish or roasted you know how you get those ready-made roasted chickens at the grocery store that would go really great with it too Alrighty. don't know why i bother to put things on toothpicks so when i get a little bit of cheese here okay so a lot of cheese on my little pretzel bite that is good i didn't even put any butter on my pretzel or the pretzel salt like i always do left it plain so no added calories there i'll have another quick sip and i'll be right back I had a little accident I accidentally finished my wine so you know what I'm just gonna pour myself another glass cheers everyone this was really really good so anyway I just went online while I was chewing my pretzel I, I may have accidentally had some beef sticks and some cheese curds as well so yeah I, I'm so accident prone but anyway so I did go online um, I just was checking to see if they had any sales. They're still having that little bit of a sale. So when you buy a bottle of wine, they're offering some, not all of the selections, but they're offering some at that $8.49 too for your add-on. So if it's a great time to try it, if you're into these sweet wines, they also have, um, like I bought some Cabernet Sauvignon that I haven't opened yet. They've got a lot of fruit wines. They have some in cans that um, maybe if you want to go traveling or something, you can take some cans with you. But, you know, I've never tried their cans. You know, I made some. I might someday get some of the ones I haven't tried yet in the smaller size cans just to see if it's something that I like. But I noticed that the caramel apple is the June's red apple with caramel added. So that is going to be good. I already know I've had that before. I love that one. So this is a new favorite for me. They also have a sour green apple one. What do you guys think? Should I try that one next? I mean, I didn't buy it yet, but it doesn't mean I can't go online and buy some more. After all, I'm not getting my wink this month again. But anyway, the sour green apple, it says it's made from sour green apples and it tastes just like a sour green apple lollipop. They called it something else, but I'm going to call it a lollipop. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. What kind of wines would you like me to taste? I know I've got that Witch's Brew, which I think is another spiced apple that I got from Lila and All Set Cellars. I think I got that last fall and I didn't get a chance to open it yet. I've got this caramel apple. Of course, I got two bottles of the Paducah Peach I can open or anything else. You know, I thought I opened that other one from the Chronic Cellars that had that, um, the fun label. I forgot what it was called already where you put your phone up from the QR code and then it's an alternate reality or something like that but I didn't open that one the other one that I thought I opened so I mean I could always slide that one into November too you just never know there's so many different things out there to try but anyway it's Friday night I'm gonna let you guys get on with your night get ready for your fun weekend I'm gonna have a little bit of my charcuterie board and while I had my break yes I did order a little pizza, so that should be here pretty soon, and I'll put the rest of that away if I don't finish it, or I'll put the pizza away. I'm flexible like that. So anyway, I want to thank you guys again for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. You guys mean the world to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you, you go out you just have fun take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life 
have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye.